him or not, he's as cool as could be. They better hurry, Vern. They've got to get some points as quickly as they can. Turner Derek knocks Turner. down the trifecta. Gamp inbounds the ball. You have to keep your he head up bound. and eyes open at all That's times first, playing first with this guy. Bound. That's right, and you Second never know when or where he'll find you. Well, no choice but the foul. They've got to stop the clock and get the ball back right away. Ripped away! Turner takes it up. Foul. He That's had a chance for a three-point play, Second but couldn't foul. get the slam. Shooting He'll shoot a pair two. of foul shots. Knocks it down! That could not have been a tougher pair of free throws. He knocked him down like he was at practice. Steely. Texas State four. calls timeout. They trail by one. 15 seconds left in the game. Dumps it inside. Number that last one. inside shot buried by number one. Number 15. Inbounds the ball. Passes like that make it so easy for the shooter. Turner banks it off the glass and in. Conley, way up court. Yo, 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 yo. What's up? What's going on? Just finished playing a crazy game you saw in the intro against Texas State. So, something that I decided to do because... I don't know. I guess I wanted to save time. I went on ahead and simulated after that game. And we would finish the season at 20 and 7. At the end of that game, like once I played it, we were 13 and 3. So, you know, the rest of the way, we went 7 and 4. So, we, I jumped straight into the uh, conference, you know, championships and shit. So this is the first game of conference play, you know what I'm saying? Like the conference championship play. And what better team to play against than the team that I struggle with the hardest. Also on the line in this game would be complete, you know, control of first place for the conference, which is currently a tie between us and Stephen F. Austin. So, you know, like, pretty much if we lose and they win, they win the conference. If we win and they win, we win the conference because we beat them, you know, but, but then again, like, we lose and they win, you know, of course, they win the conference. But, I mean, this, this, this matchup right here, like, Montalvo, man, like that dude was cooking in the first, like the first time I played him. I was like, damn, I cannot stop this dude. Like he was always open for some reason, you know, because well, I know why he was open because his team runs a one-one-three zone defense, which absolutely sucks when trying to defend, you know, on the perimeter. Like the defense is good for. Stopping teams in the paint, but it's tragic when playing, you know, defense on the uh, perimeter. As you can see, you see guys are constantly wide open on the perimeter, but, you know, they're not utilizing their players on the perimeter often right now. Excuse me. Um, coming up on the substitution, you know, I'm, I'm looking back at the video right now. And I got a break in it, so it must be a sub coming at the wrap right here. All right, back in the game. Oh, man. Yeah, man, weather keep changing. It's kind of terrible down here, man. Like, one minute it's hot, then it's cold, then it's raining, then it's hot, then it's cool. You know, it's terrible weather. Easiest way to get sick. But... You know, like, the main focus was, like, I just wanted to kind of move ahead and kind of catch up with the actual, what's going on with the actual NCAA right now. You know, they're in these conference championship games. You know, they, they tournaments going on. You know, most teams, most of the men teams were playing semifinals yesterday. 
And as of today, which is Saturday, March 11th, you know, this should be like championship finals. You know, the women, uh, it's kind of weird, man. Like, they played their most of the, the pretty much all their championships like last week or earlier in the week. But for whatever reason, their final four is like always a day after the men's and I don't get it. You know, that's probably should be before since, you know, they usually finish up things a lot faster. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you know, hopefully this year, you know, things, you know, are much better to watch. I mean, like, you know, UConn ain't in it, so, you know, I care less. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing, like, you know, like, pretty much – the unfortunate focus is going to be on Lonzo Ball, all because of his father. Like, you know, his father going off at the mile, you know, talking about how great his son is. And don't get me wrong, like, it's, his son is dope. But, man, you're putting too much pressure on on the young man. Like, especially at this point, man, like, because all eyes going to be on him. Like, like, they got beat last night by Arizona. And, you know, he shoots two for seven from the field. You know, that looks bad. Like, oh, he's supposed to be better than Steph Curry. Man, you ain't even in Curry League. You know, that's how people going to look at it. But, you know, we're coming up after these free throws. We're coming up to halftime real quick. And, you know, it's halftime. I'm about to stop talking. No luck. And we're headed to halftime with the score 24 to 23. Give us your opinion on the first half, Bill. What a battle this has been. Tough to say who has the upper hand so far. I certainly don't want to go out and make a prediction. And now it's time to show you our player of the half. Bill? Turner has been lights out from the floor, Vern. It must feel like he's thrown the ball in the ocean. Every shot he takes goes through and he looks absolutely unstoppable. Solid performance. From All right, welcome back to the second half. Continuing to talk about what I was talking about with LeVar Ball and the situation with his sons. Like, don't get me wrong, man. I think Lonzo is a great talent. The person that will be the most affected by this will be LiAngelo because, you know, he's going to be at UCLA by himself because, you know, his brother is definitely not about to stick around for a second season. You know, he's one and done. Now, LiAngelo, on the other hand, I think LiAngelo is a is a solid player, but I don't think, you know, people look at him and they're like, oh, you know, he's too big. You know, he reminds me of Carmelo. Like, he could be that type of player, you know, but, you know, he's real quiet. He's not flashy. You know, he has a, pretty much a traditional jump shot. You know, he doesn't really get off the ground much. You know, it's like a Zach Randolph in that aspect where he doesn't really get off the ground, but, you know, he gets a lot of rebounds, you know, and the eyes are going to be on him as well. And they're definitely going to be on LaMelo. You know, after he scored 92, you know, you got all the eyes on him. Then it's like, oh, he can do that at any time. And then, you know, they lose out in a high school tournament. You know what I'm saying? You can't win a championship at a high school level. And for a lot of people, you know, that, they look at they look at that and they like, oh, man, these, these kids ain't got what it takes. But I don't think that's the case. I think at the highest level, though, I think Lonzo definitely has the skills to succeed at the highest level. But like I said, with – but their father, it's, it's a good thing that their father believes in them that much. But at the same time, you know, it's, it's helpful, but it's harmful at the same time. Because on one end of the spectrum, you have 
let's let's just say if Kobe Bryant's dad, you know, came on and was like, yo, man, he, he better than Mike already. You know, like, fresh out of high school, like, man, he's better than Michael Jordan. You know, and in, in your mind, you want to feel like, hey, I feel like I can compete with a Michael Jordan. But, man, truthfully, you know you're not better than Michael Jordan. You know, not at that point anyway. But now if you go, now if you go skill for skill at the same age, you know, at that point in your life, you know, maybe. But, you know, if you're trying to say that, you know, your son is better than a player that's been established in the league for some years now, no, man. You know, like, you got to gotta, gotta play a couple games first. Then once he get those games under his belt, then, you know, the conversation can come up. Because, I mean, if you look at the way UCLA plays, I mean, they play a style that's, like, similar to the Warriors slash OG Suns, you know, the, the Steve Nash era Suns, where they just get the ball up real quick. They pass it around, like, super fast. Then, you know, they just pull up and shoot threes. You know, and that's, that's pretty much how they play, you know. I mean, they do play defense, but... At the same time, they, they just take way too many threes. And now in the tournament, um, I, I don't know. I think they can get to the Sweet 16, and that would probably be it for them. You know, like, for Alonzo's sake, I would, I would hope they can win it all. Because if they don't win it all, then, you know, like, once again, it's going to come up and be like, man, your father should have shut the fuck up and let you play basketball. But, you know, now you got now you got everybody trying to go at him. You know, you once he moves to the next level, you know, eyes going to be on him. NBA players going to be all over him. They're going to be trying to, trying to take his ankles. You know what I'm saying? They're going to leave him on the island with Kyrie Irving and Kyrie going to, do that shit that he does where, you know, he dribbles with the ball in the plastic bag, you know, to get his handles right, you know, do some Uncle Drew shit to him, you know, and try to break him down. But I don't know. I think mentally, I think I think he's mentally easily the toughest of the three. You know, like, like I, I really don't see much getting to him, you know, like, now, Leang like I said, Leangelo doesn't really show emotion. You know, he, you know, he's just a normal, calm dude. Got that Kawhi Leonard mentality. But, I mean, you know, I can see signs of frustration could probably creep into him and LaMelo. I mean, that dude just, you know, he just let it all out on his, you know, on his sleeve. But for them, hopefully, you know, I hope they all, all three of them succeed. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they all three can make it. And, you know, just make their family proud. But at the same time, like, I wouldn't want them to be on no Ed O'Bannon type situation where you got, like, amazing hype and you just can't live up to it. You know, because you've seen a lot of great college talents crash and burn at the next level. But getting on to this Texas State game, yeah, I mean, it's, once again, it's a, another close game. You know, I'm out here struggling. You know, I, I, trying to get these assists, man. I just can't get assists. Teammates, you know, we missing. Like, I, I don't know what's wrong. Like, I saw I saw our player confidence, you know, through simulating the games. Like, our confidence was, like, real high. I think I had, like, 94% confidence. McBeth. Was that like 86? Like after I simulated, my comfort, my my player's confidence dropped to like 77. Macbeth is like 62 or some shit. Like this dude cannot make a shot for anything. I'm like, even in the game early on in the video that I uh, posted the end to, I think he he shot like 10 for 11 or something from the field. So I don't know what the fuck is going on. With my normal, most, you know, reliable player. 
And this sequence of the game is the sequence of the game that I always hate. The intentional foul moments. You know, we we we, we coming up on the moment that you know is usually all right. We got it. We got it in the bag. You know, warm up the bus. This is the warm up the bus moment. You know, it's when the crowd start chanting. You know, the, the home team start chanting warm up the bus. So we got Montalvo. You know, he's in foul trouble. So it's like, yeah, it's gonna take advantage of that. You know, I'm trying to make him foul. I fucking ran out of bounds. Yeah, I ran out of bounds. Giving them the opportunity to tie this game or take the lead, you know, and that was an epic brain failure right there. So I, I'm, I'm in panic mode because I know this team could get their shots. Like I don't want them to have a three. Like I, I'm, I would gladly allow them to shoot the two, but the three, no. Because I know that I know they will make the three, because they always have a guy open like right there. Bam! He hit from mid. It's like all right, I got an opportunity to win this game, to beat this team again. You know, I tried to hit him with the crossover to the right, but I pulled up and I shot the ball far too early. Like I didn't I didn't want to shoot it that early, so. We're heading to overtime. You know, my dude is tired as fuck. But, you know, I got I to switch him from the two-guard position. I got to put him back in the point. You know, so here we go. Extra the extra period, man. Extra frame. You know, bam. There we go. Win the tip. Things looking good. It's like, all right. Since I'm tired. I probably, like, honestly, I feel like I should have, like, probably called the timeout, you know, to try to gain a little bit stamina back. So I come out, bam, you know, bang out, man, hit the three. You know, just just pull up. Like, I don't even care, man. Straight Pampers on them, boy. Pull up, man. Huggies out here. You know, like, we don't play no games, bro. Like, the game, the game on the line, you know, you, you know, if you play in my career, you already know. You want the ball in your players' hands, you know, especially like if you run a point, point of the um, a small forward, you know, point forward or whatever. If you playing those positions, hey, hell yeah, you want that ball, you know, bad pass right there, you know, complete mistake, nice block, knock the ball out of bounds, you know, they gain momentum off of that that tragic pass. The problem I had with that pass was. I was throwing to homie with the fro, you know what I'm saying? Like, and for whatever reason, the ball went right instead of up. I guess because, you know, my dude was tired and it's like, man, fuck it. I'm just going to throw it to whoever. You know, that, that, that pissed me off. So, there it is. I got the good pass going, but he missed the shot. You know, like, I don't know, man. This team, they... They they've just been struggling, man. Like up up to a certain point. Like like I said, once I before I was simulating, you know, these dudes were hitting. After I simulated, it's just they, they they just cannot find the bottom of the hoop. And now we're down by three again. You know, I'm I'm out here pacing, racing time. I miss. You know, like I can't find the bottom of the bucket. You know, I mean, it's, it, I, I, honestly, man, I should have just called the timeout because you know timeouts, they change momentum drastically. I thought I had the steal right there, he didn't have it. You know, he knocked the ball loose, thought he had the steal, didn't have it. You know, they out here playing the clock game, patiently waiting. You know, holding the ball. We did not get the rebound. Cannot capitalize. They score. So now we down by five. Panic, man. Panic, panic, panic. That's all that's all I'm thinking. Pull up for another three. Break. Just you know, these shots. Another miss still. You know, these are the shots that I feel like I always make and I just couldn't make it. Right here I get the reach and foul. Oh man. 
man, it's just, you know, I'm, I'm just like baffled. Like, all right, now I get the steal, pass it up to my boy. You know, I'm like, fuck that. I'm wide open this time from deep. You know, drain it. You know what I'm saying? Now we down by two. Intentional foul. You know, we, we still got a chance. Still have that chance. You know, we looking. Looking for the intentional. Got the intentional foul. And, you, you know, like, you look at the clock. It's like, all right, we got, we got time. We got a lot of time on our hands. Right there, knock the ball loose. You know, you don't get the steal on this game. You know, in later 2Ks, if you knock the ball loose, you get the, you know, I'm going for the win. I'm, I'm not I'm not here to play for overtime. So, I'm here. I'm doing my thing left, right. It's not working. I can't get open. I felt I should have shot right before I passed the ball, but I passed it off again, and I shot that shit. With and he stepped up and got in my face and I ended up missing the shot. I should have shot it when I passed it. Also, I wanted to add the Selection Sunday video, you know, just to see where we stood in the standings as far as did we make the tournament or did we go to the NIT? But I fucking accidentally dropped my goddamn controller and it stopped the video as I started recording it. So I really only got about 20 seconds of that footage because usually Selection Sunday is like an 8 to 10 minute video in itself. But nevertheless, we did end up making the tournament and we made the tournament as a 10 seed. Uh, as far as this conference championship goes, Texas State got to the finals and they lost to Stephen F. Austin. So Stephen F. Austin does win you know, our conference. So they are the conference champions, and they actually got into the tournament as a ninth seed. 